Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with a new segment. Yes, it's a new year. It's the P.O.P. The process or problem. We're about to find out what position group and their players are part of this process that McDermott has put upon us. Or are they a damn problem and can't be trusted? Ready to break it down. We're going to combine two position groups. The quarterback room is pretty simple. The running back group, huh? Maybe there might be some differences that I can shed some light on. Without further ado, let's get it popping right now with the quarterback room. Josh Allen, Bitcoin Barkley, and Davis Webb. So here's the deal. It's very simple. Josh Allen, part of the process. Simple as that. There's no question about it. Here's the deal. Josh Allen had very big growing pains his first year. Second year, he came in and showed very big improvements. Took a, quite a big leap. Third year is when we need to see something that 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 stands out to each and every one of us. We know he's got all the potential in the world. We now need him to settle in as the franchise guy. I believe he is the franchise quarterback for this franchise. Now, this third year, which they always say the third year is when the quarterback really does his stuff. We are going to see how much that second year, that playoff experience helped Josh out. Now, we've got $8 million tied into this position group. $8 million. 5.2-ish is going to Josh Allen. we got another $2 million going to Bitcoin Barkley. And Davis Webb has about just under just under $700,000. All right? So, it's not an expensive room, but it will be if Josh Allen takes that leap that we anticipate he will. So, Josh Allen, is he part of the process? Your mother effing right he is. Bitcoin Barkley. Here's the deal. I like him as a quarterback i like him as the backup i like how he is so enthralled in buffalo he likes it there and not only that he's a good earpiece for josh allen so you can't go wrong with a two million dollar quarterback that's helping your quarterback ascend and be better and he's a likable guy you can't go wrong with that so having bitcoin on this squad and underneath the tutelage of our oc brian dable and our quarterback coach in Kent Dorsey, you can't go wrong with having Barkley underneath Allen and showing him the ropes and also being a very influential earpiece in the quarterback room for both Davis Webb and Josh Allen. So I'm on board with having Bitcoin Barkley back. So is he part of the process? Oh, yes, he is. He is damn well part of this process. Davis Webb. Davis Webb is a developmental player on the practice squad. Smart dude. 25 on the Wonderlick test, athletic enough to move around in the pocket, has a live arm, good quarterback, but raw, extremely raw. He's on the practice squad for a reason, and that's where he should remain. Now, in time, can he become the backup quarterback? If we decide to part ways with Barkley, that would be great. This is why these practice squads are fantastic for quarterbacks like Davis Webb. May not have it at the beginning of his career, but could potentially be a quarterback that we can depend on to back up Josh Allen. Think about that. So is Davis Webb part of the process? Who gives a damn? He's on the practice squad, right? We've got two quarterbacks that's going to be on the active roster, and that's all that matters to me. But if we can still develop Davis Webb, hey, I'll put him part of the process on the practice squad. And that is it for the quarterback room. Let's move to the running back room because that's where it gets a little interesting. Are you with me? Let's move on. Now, moving on to the running back room. All right, we've got $3.3 million tied into this position. All right, we've got $1.9 going to TJ Yeldon. We've got just under a million dollars going to Devin Singletary. And then we rounded off with Christian Wade with $500,000. All right, so a very cheap running back room. And that's the way we kind of like it. We've got about $80 million in the bank right now, right? Spot track just kind of gave us the, the, the numbers and the numbers show us that we have about $80 million in the bank. Are we going to bolster this running back room? It's very big possibility. Now, here's the deal. Devin Singletary was quintessentially the biggest offensive piece late in the season. We ran our offense through him. And the more he touched the ball, the better our team had success in winning the game. Right? 775 yards rushing. 
only in the later part of the season because he was hurt at the beginning. So we can depend on a running back like Devin Singletary. You would never think of it. Five foot seven, 200 pounds. You're like, oh, he's just a little guy. No, 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 no. He can run between the tackles and he can take it outside. He's not going to burn you with speed, but the guy is damn well explosive. He's explosive and can move the ball for you. I have no problems with Devin Singletary. And that's what? And guess what? He is part of the damn process. Devin Singletary, we love you. We love your game. And I can't wait until they pair you with someone that matches your abilities, right? A little bit of sugar and spice? I don't know. We're going to find out. Now, Devin Singletary, part of the process. Now, moving on to the backup. TJ Yeldon. Now, most would say... Get rid of TJ Yeldon. He's done with. We don't need him anymore. We just need to draft a running back, and we're going to find a running back in free agency. Now, hold your horses just a little bit because TJ Yeldon kind of gives you some a different dynamic. You know he can catch out of the backfield. That is his strength. He can run the ball. If you, don't, if you come from Alabama, you have an ability to run the ball, i.e. minus Richardson. That boy was trash when he got to the league. But TJ Yeldon still has some potential to be a great running back in this system he just has to hold on to that damn ball but that's something that he can work on in the off season so having tj yeldon and singletary isn't a bad duo but i'm just not satisfied enough so is tj yeldon part of this process yes i would actually like to bring tj yeldon back in the same offense and have an opportunity to get a greater role with potentially frank gore not being part of this team moving on to christian Wade. project Part of the international program that allows players to come into the league, learn on the practice squad for a full year, and not count towards our roster. He was sensational in preseason. People loved him. They even said, wait a minute, maybe he can make this roster. Let's pump the brakes a little bit. The man's just learning the game. Now, him being on the practice squad for a full year, I'm telling you, will make a difference. But will it be enough? Every year is completely different. It may look promising in the preseason, but time goes on where you start looking at your roster and say, you know what? I know we have Christian Wade on this team, but are we going to give him a roster spot, right? Do we forego bringing in a Melvin Gordon? Do we forego bringing in uh, a Dwayne Washington? I'm just putting names out there that are on the list of free agency. Now, this is something that we have to look into. Christian Wade is very explosive. I, a former rugby player in high school, I'm not going to front, right? Love the game. And when you run the rock, 265 pound guys chasing you that run four, five speed, four, six, it's a different ball game. But when you put the pads on, that also is a different ball game. And we saw a glimpse of Wade last year running between the tackles, showing off his speed. Now, there's two schools of thought here. Who do we pair with Devin Singletary? Do we get him a big bruiser back like a Derrick Henry or do we get him a speed back? like Melvin Gordon or whoever. But we have a speed back right now in our locker room in Christian Wade. So do you put him part of the process or is he part of the problem and it was cute to see and away you go? I, for one, am intrigued to see what he does this offseason. I'm not ready to put him part of the process just yet, but he's definitely not part of the problem. So I'm going to reserve my judgment for Christian Wade right now. But if I have to pick... I'm going to say that he is going to be part of the problem because I feel that they want a, a little bit more experience in the running back room, but you never know. Christian Wade, I'm rooting for you. I'm really rooting for you. You've got a big, tall mountain to climb, but nothing's impossible. You just got to show that at one year under the tutelage of Frank Gore, Devin Singletary, and TJ Yeldon, hopefully you learned a thing or two, bring things to this offense that we have not seen. So having a Devin Singletary and a Christian Wade, ooh, that could be something. You think I was going to forget about Patrick DeMarco? <laughs> Here's the deal. He's part of the process, man, right? He's on this roster for another year. His contract's done in 2021. I can't see us cutting him. He's been part of this since Dable got here. He's been part of this since McDermott got here. So he will be part of the process. There's no question about it. Patrick DeMarco part of the process i wish you were just three inches taller probably you would have came down with that damn deep ball that josh allen threw to you but <sighs> i digress <laughs> i digress ladies and gentlemen that is your process or problem what do you guys feel 
How do you guys feel? Christian Wade, could he be part of the process? Or is he a problem? Man, just get him. Get rid of him, man. Bring some real running backs. Or is he a gem just waiting to be brushed off? You know what I'm saying? And everybody can see the gem that we've been hiding on our roster. Right? Davis Webb. Will Davis Webb push Bitcoin Barkley in camp? The intrigue, you just never know. You never know when it comes to the process or a problem. We still got drafts to go. We still have the the free agency. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. So, ladies and gentlemen, slide into the comment section. Give me your opinion. What do you think? Who is part of the process? Who is part of the problem? We will do all the position groups going forward. The receivers, the tight end room, the D-line, the linebackers, the whole shebang. It's the process or a problem with the Buffalo Fanatics. Click that like, smash that subscribe button, and tune in into the next episode. It's your boy, and I'm gone. Thank you guys for tuning in to the Buffalo Fanatics. If you like the content from this page, don't be shy. Do me three things. Click that like subscribe to the page, and most importantly, share this content.